Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's Halloween video, I have partnered with CoverGirl to bring you guys this fun queen of the universe makeup look. I was really inspired by this crystal crown that I found. So we're just gonna get started. I am starting off with adding some basic stage cream makeup, just using some dark blues and blacks to create the base for the eyeshadows that we're gonna use in a minute here. So for the eyeshadow palette, we're going to be using the CoverGirl True Naked Palette in the shade Days. This palette is amazing. It has eight really pigmented shades and these like really pretty jewel tones. So I'm going to be using the mixture of a purple and a black. And this is just going to add some dimension and just give it some metallic sheen to add to kind of like the galaxy universe look. So you can apply this wherever. It doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like the non-perfectness adds to, you know, the pretty night nice sky look. So then we're going in with the CoverGirl Perfect Point Eyeliner. And we're just using this to kind of create a contour shape. And then I'm just going to blend that out. So I'm using the shade Black Onyx. And these liners are really nice because they're super pigmented and easy to work with. They just glide on your skin and they're easy to blend out. So I'm also going to use it to define my neck and clavicle area. I'm just creating a guideline and then we're going to blend it out and come back to it later on. Then I'm going back with the same purple and black shades that we used earlier and kind of redefining that contour and filling in everywhere that we created a shape. So this is gonna really contour our face, neck, clavicle area. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm taking the Dazed palette and that amethyst color and we're just gonna do a smoky eye. So I'm just applying this in the crease and just creating kind of that winged out shape. Then we're going to take some of that metallic black just to deepen it up in the outer corners and smoke out the lower lash line. Next I'm going in with the Katie Cat Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Kitty Whisper. And this is what we're going to be using as a base for the middle of our eyelids. So I'm just using it on a like concealer type brush to kind of just make it a little bit easier and then I'm adding this really pretty like magenta shade from the Days palette over top and this just makes it really pop and stand out and then after you apply that you just want to take your blending brush and blend along the edges. Next I'm taking the Get In Line liner in the shade Black Crystal and I'm using this to line my upper lash line. This is a really good eyeliner. The tip is like really fine so it's easy to get that thin line and it's easy to hold also. Now we're taking those same purple shades and we're kind of creating these like teardrop effects. So just use the shadows and blend underneath your eyes and kind of drag them down. Then I'm taking the Kitty Cat Eyeliner in the shade Kitty Whisper once again. I'm going to start creating these star shapes with this. And I started just using the pencil, but in a minute here you'll see that I switched to using like a fine tip, just like little paintbrush. But we're just going to use this to add stars and like little galaxy-like shapes. So just put them all over. Thank you. 
Next, I'm just applying some glitter glue for some glitter. I'm just using this chunky star glitter that I found and just applying this to the center of my lids and then I'm just gonna go glitter crazy and just apply it all over. And this glitter I just found at the craft store and you know, just make sure not to get it in your eyes. As with all glitter, you just wanna be really careful with it. Then I'm going in with the True Blend Super Stunner Palette in the shade It's Lit and I'm using this to highlight underneath my brow bone and pretty much anywhere on my face that doesn't have any product on it yet just to add like a nice shimmery effect. But these uh, highlighters are so good. I love that there's three colors and they are just so pigmented and glowy. I'm obsessed with them. So now I'm taking that purple and black shade once again from the Days Palette to contour and define my nose a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm applying that to like the jawline. I'm also gonna add it to like my neck and chest and add more glitter and stars there also. Now I'm going back to the eyes and I'm going to add some of the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is a really good formula for volumizing and getting that like bold dramatic effect. We are going to add lashes later on but you know this is just the base of it. Now I'm going to add my false lashes. I'm using the Katie Cat Wink Lashes in the style Fluffy Cat. Then I'm going to add some eyeliner to my waterline and I'm using the Perfect Point Eyeliner in the shade Black Onyx once again for that. Then like I mentioned previously, I'm going to go back in and add some more star shapes all over. I'm going to add some to my eyelids, some to those like little tear areas, and then I'm going to add this little crescent moon. It's actually just a necklace that I broke and now I'm just gluing it onto my forehead with lash glue. Then we're going to finish it up with the lips. I am lining them with the Exhibitionist Lip Liner in the shade Plum Partner. And then I'm adding the Exhibitionist Lipstick in the shade Don't Tell, which is one of the metallic shades. They also come in Demi Matte and Cream formulas, but the formulas are super pigmented and creamy. So this is just a dark black metallic shade. And then I'm just going to be adding a little bit of shadow on top just to add to the metallic effect. And this is the final look. All you have to do is add your crown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Head on over to covergirl.com for all of the products used. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween.